<laughs> inspiring. Super, absolutely, really an eye opener. This is what they want. This is what they want. I was absolutely mesmerised. I couldn't take my eyes off him. There's some about them tattoos that could be turning me on. Fine ass, big titties, lady ass, body looking right. And I think the um, the multimedia like really helped support the show. It really linked everything together. Especially because yeah. the scenes, like when you did, oh, it's really, so well. really yeah. it looked when he was doing it to the camera. It was almost like he was really in there. Oh, I am my brother's keeper goes out the door when you're in here. He fused so many things together. He threw a bit of Shakespeare in there. Yeah, he obviously yeah. is about to do that. <laughs> I'm going to get you everything you need, everything you want. It's you and me, baby. Yeah. Good to actually see his side from what you hear on TV. Do you know what I mean? He beat up someone, or he's caused an argument here, he's done something with Biggie, do you know what I mean? So it was good to see, like, he was just a normal guy. Look at all those dogs clutching on their purse, treating us like we're nothing. We human beings just like them. We feel and breathe just like they do. They think we like living here. Being 15, 16 years old without a dad to our name and then have to run into a judgmental snake like you. But I never knew that, you know, Tupac was kind of into into Shakespeare and poetry, and that's that's deep. Petruchio, Petruchio was, was a pimp, and Richard was a thug, and we studied them. <laughs> we revere writers like Shakespeare. This goes to show that a lion's heart plus a big mouth equals prison time. America can say, "Don't tread on me. Give me liberty or give me death." But we can't say, "Fuck the police." What's the difference between me saying, Holly, if you hear me? And Anthony saying, Roman friends, countrymen, lend me your ears. Well, you know, I believed that I was watching, you know, Tupac, and that was kind of, he was there, he was, you know, amazing. I don't know, I'm kind of speechless. It was almost like getting a chance to see him as a person. What the hell is a black person gonna do for me when I'm still living in the ghetto? When niggas still getting beat down by the police? When niggas still killing niggas in the street? Curse you with a venomous tongue. Show yourself, you ghost! Dog life. The hate gave your infants. Everybody. He's got loads of different messages. They just wait for you to get out of the line so they can throw you in the cage and make money out of you. To legalize slave labor. The poverty. The ability to overcome all these obstacles the way I did. That's the third line. He's hit a nail on the head and hopefully he's more successful, I guess. My body's being buried. I'm losing my homies in a hurry that we don't take you to the cemetery. Got me worried, stressing, my vision's blurred. The question is, will I live? I can't do